Good morning, everybody, and this is your Forex Day Trade Setups for today. And uh, been away for a while, but uh, I see we've had a pretty strong move yesterday. Um, so starting with Euro USD as usual, we do have a bit of a consolidation triangle here forming. I think what you need to do is pay attention to what is happening to the left here. And I'm just going to do that. Um, so we do have a zone of support here. You can see there is uh, something here as well at around 108.692. If we pop down to the hour, um, this rejection from yesterday does worry me a little bit. Uh, we did get going again, but we haven't broken above the high. So uh, the trend is up. We're looking to buy, but we're looking to buy off a pullback. And I think I'll ignore that level there. There is some structure right there. So we're looking for a pullback into 108.591 or 108.714 for another opportunity to buy. And uh, you'll be capped by this trend line up here at 109.208. So wait for the pullback here. You're looking for structure and you're looking to get in on that structure. Um, this little rejection here in the middle of the day yesterday does worry me a little bit. But uh, looking at the oscillators, looking at the moving averages, I think it's probably worthwhile taking the long when we bounce. Moving on to US dollar, Japanese yen. Um, obviously, we have a climbing, uh, rejected the 155 EMA and a pretty solid move down. So um, what I'd be expecting here is a rejection of that area there. And that... Um, Oh, there's a couple of things there. So let's just start with the eight hour version. That's one double three zero one six. But looking at everything at the moment, I'd be a little bit reluctant to jump on, on a short share. We are above the moving averages. Um, we do have a separation of the oscillator. So that is starting to brew quite nicely. Um, what I would suggest you do is pop down to the 15 minutes on this one. And uh, we still don't have anything here. There's a gap here that we've just closed. So could be a situation of um, a rejection that's going to happen here. But I think I'd rather sit on sit on my hands with this one. Just wait for some better structure. Wait for us to drop below the moving averages on the hour before starting to look for a move to the downside. Moving on to the pound, British pound, Japanese yen. Uh, the move is up at the moment. We've had a bit of a pullback. That's the closest bit of structure I can see. I just want to see if we actually tested this on the pullback. No, we didn't. So both those areas are still open. Um, so we are pretty much range bound. I would argue that that is the zone I need to pay attention to. So I'm looking for a pullback on 164458 or alternatively, uh, let's move that up a little bit, on 164252. Looking for a pullback onto there for a move up. Um, the trend is up at the moment. The only thing that's worrying me is the grouping of the oscillators here. Bit of a cup and handle forming. We need to break above the high of yesterday and uh, sort of break above, come and find support there. So that's another way. Uh, London breakout strategy is probably the best one. First eight one hour bars. Uh, if we start breaking the upside, it's long. If you start breaking to the downside, then uh, you'll probably find a short for the height of the range. So it's basically at this stage going to be around 750 points to the downside. Um, and that would take us to this area here. And that would be an opportunity to buy as far as I'm concerned. That's 163494. So yeah, so pay attention to the pullbacks. Probably one worth watching on the 15 minute as well. Uh, you'll probably find a bit of structure building on the 15 minute chart. Moving on to Euro, um, the British Pound, and uh, last week was a pretty much a rejection week, and we rejected this 088197, and uh, you can see there are buyers trying to come in down here. If you just look to the left, there's a lot going on in this area. It's not exact, but it's around 087769. So that seems to be um, the area that we need to pay attention to. If you look at this on the weekly, um, Bob why this is really 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 unstructured and confused I would argue that there is support down here as well at 087232 so the minute you start getting on to the hour 
um, you can see a lot of big up big down so we are below the moving averages it does look like we've got a bit of a rejection uh, but we do have this massive area of support here so i'd be very reluctant jumping in on a short down here uh, you may find some kind of a pullback but there is uh, a bit of a trend line you can see it's sort of um, uh, so it's getting steeper to the downside uh, there was the first one there's the next one nothing really here in my opinion i don't even think i'd be willing to take london breakout because look at yesterday just all over the place day before all over the place day before all over the place so um this is a clear sit on hands as well for me so yeah there's, there's lots of noise around oil there's lots of noise around inflation there's lots of noise around the dollar and uh, the bank still so i think you'd be wise just to be a bit cautious on forex markets at the moment um, pay attention to the bigger picture and uh, you should see something brewing shortly so for me i think uh, the euro usd offers as an opportunity for me but the rest of them i think it's a, a sit on hands situation not really interested in trading this range right now um hope that helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning cheers for now